It has to be something right? special. You're like Batman. Like yeah. Bat. Baman, actually. <laughs> Bomberman. Uh, you guys, did you give to the Double Fine Kickstarter? No. No. No, I gave to the Double Fine Kickstarter. How much and, did you give? Yeah, thanks for making us look like this. I know, but yeah. I, I just I just like Double Fine and I thought it was a cool idea and I like the idea of Kickstarter. That's all. So it, but it ended it ended this week and they made three point four million dollars on Kickstarter. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do with all that extra money? They're, well, I mean the, the theory is what they're saying is uh, they're going to put more money into the game, put a bigger team on the game. Because originally it was gonna be like four guys in the office, but now they can put like, they could put practically all of Double Fine on it if they wanted, yeah. right? For a, for a short amount of time. Uh, and then Two Player Productions is gonna put more production value into the documentary that they're making. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be kind of cool. I think it's amazing that it's $3.4 million for an adventure game. Well, okay, bear in mind, bear in mind, here's the thing about Kickstarter. Everyone's like, oh my god, you made a bajillion dollars to make <coughs> iPhone watch cases or whatever. Yeah. The Presencil, whatever it is. And it's like... I bought the Presencil. In re <laughs> shut up. In reality, you're the reason the internet doesn't work. <laughs> in reality, Kickstarter looks at that when all the things are tallied up and they go, okay. And I believe Amazon, who like owns Kickstarter, they take yeah. like, I want to say 10%, yeah. probably 10%. There's also taxes, which comes out to about like 35 or some crap. Sure. And, and then there's the fact there's the fact that a lot of people are going to be donating from other countries. You know, there's the one like I don't know, the guy from like just the middle. I don't, don't want to say a country because I'll offend someone, but the guy in the back who's like holding up like a piece of sandpaper and he's yeah. like, I have this for you. You know, uh -huh. they're that gonna be like, we can't accept that. <laughs> <Yeah. country. laughs> Is that? Yeah, I guess that was pretty racist. <laughs> um, sandpaper. No, I mean That's obviously terrible. a lot of money gets taken out, but a lot of money would have gotten taken out. If also, they had yeah. investors, if they had, you know, if they got backers. No, no, but there's there's the thing is that people, the Kickstarters, the people who are funding via Kickstarter, uh, they're like, oh hey, it's an invisible ghost magic project. Like they're not actually like putting five dollars into their floppy drive before this happens. Yeah. And they're if they see that this is happening, they're like, oh god, I said I was gonna give Tim Schafer a thousand dollars. You know, they're like, oh god, I, pr I proposed to her while I was that drunk. Good god. Do you, you think know? it's like that? Do you think it's like eBay remorse where like at the last moment you like overpay for something and you're like, oh shit, I never thought I was gonna win. I've seen it happen. Yeah. Well, I did a I did a Kickstarter. Yeah? Yeah, I was part of a Kickstarter. Oh yeah, your podcast. You did a podcast. Yeah, I did a guys, podcast. The comedy button. It's you, you on guys, iTunes. You guys um, funded. You guys overfunded from what we, you wanted. Well, yeah, we we asked for six thousand mm -hmm. dollars to fund, uh, you know, a mixer, uh, headphones, professional grade mics, and all that. And as well, there's also prize fulfillment. Um, if if yeah. guys are making games and they're like, you get an art book and a and a boxed game and all that stuff, that's going to cost money too. And shipping yeah. that out costs more than the actual things themselves. I think Double Fine was pretty uh, pretty smart about their prizes. Yeah. Like there's really nothing physical until you give like 500 bucks. Yeah. Well, that's well you no get way. I get a poster. You get a copy of the game also though yeah. at 15 bucks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is so Which funny is because I, it totally yeah. makes sense um, from, you know, from yeah. their standpoint. But at the same time, it also kind of gives, I feel like it might give people the feeling like they own part of the game. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, especially yeah. after all this Mass Effect okay. 3, That's... like, fanboy rage and stuff. Yes. I can see people, like, if the game comes out and it's not up to their guff, just getting pissed with you it. You know how many like, people, do you know how many so people. there's less of a chance of that yeah. happening. Than we got a lot of emails of people being like, um, your Kickstarter ended in October, it's halfway through December, where's my t-shirt? And we're like, we're getting to it. Yeah. All the t-shirts, all the prize fulfillment happened. That's a thing that happened, but people are impatient. They're like, oh man, I, I paid my money for this. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah. you know, it's not a it's not a bake sale. It's well, not more than that, I think people are gonna feel like they they own part of it creatively, right? Yeah. And I think uh, like when I spoke to the other the other successful Kickstarter example that I can think of that's sort of tangentially related to games is the indie game and the movie one. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to James and Lisanne, they were like, yeah, you get a lot of people who write in and they feel like they have ownership of the movie and they want to know where the movie is and it's like, oh, I, I wrote last week and I want to know where my DVD is. Okay. I'm writing this week and I want to know where my DVD is and I want to know why you're covering this or why you're yeah. covering that. And it's kind of like, I think it's, you have to manage expectations more when you have a Kickstarter. Yeah. It's crowd funded, it's yeah. not crowd managed. Yeah. Um, that's the thing is we've got, we've got the uh, Wasteland 2 Kickstarter that just happened and they're, they've got, you know, they want 90K and as of, Three days now. Three days in, they've got 70k. Yeah. Um, they're probably gonna get funded. They're making a sequel to a game that came out in 1988. Yeah. 
there is no way they are going to meet the expectations of the people who want yeah. this. Because then you not only are you taking that partial ownership thing, but you're taking that that classic nostalgic gaming thing, right? So now it's like if it's like if EA kickstarted Syndicate. Right. <laughs> right. I have no idea what the sequel is going to be like. Right. Though. I mean, they've given descriptions of it, but people have a description. I mean, it's. It's buying something based off a description of what it's going to be, not of the actual product. You, I mean, you don't get you I don't get a review just, of it. I think you know. it's just your customer service and your community management start before the product is out as opposed to after. And I think that's fine. I think if you if you're a company that knows how to do that, like Double Fine does, I think you'll be okay. James and Lizanne have done a good job. They 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 put up a lot of updates. I think if you know that going in, everybody is happier. You know, I'm I'm kind of interested just to see what's gonna happen with games and Kickstarter now. Now that there's the $3.4 million right. kicks. I mean, previous to this, I've only really given to games that were like smaller games, iPhone games. Mm -hmm. But now you have things like uh, FTL, that, that indie game, uh, about like, it's this strategy space combat thing. They wanted something like 10,000 and they got 90,000 in three days. Mm -hmm. There's like this crazy halo effect now where like people are just trying to get their games onto Kickstarter. Cause it's like, we can make Tim Schafer money. Yeah. It's... Yeah, Double Fine was probably the perfect company to start doing something like this and make it seem so easy in the process. Like, I could see other companies trying to do the same thing, especially indie companies, you know, because it's such a great tool for them. And unless you really get that kind of marketing push that Double Fine got, you know, like yeah. when they started that Kickstarter, they were on the front page of every gaming news outlet, you know? Not every game is going to get that coverage, regardless of whether or not they've got a Kickstarter. It's easy to ask for money when you're Tim Schafer. It's not as That's easy to true. ask when you're like some kid in programming yeah. school. But you, you know, know, like their their podcast is a good example mm -hmm. that you can get money and get extra money. So yeah. I mean, yeah, Double Fine is obviously, I would love to see if they're going to do this again, if they consider this an experiment or, or how it's all gonna turn out. Um, I think this is just a continuation of like, well, now we don't have to use publishers because we have Steam and digital downloads. It's exactly like you know? what Lucy well, did with yeah. this comedy show. Yes. It's exactly like that. I think if you have a good, now I think more than ever, if you have a good product and you are able to discuss it eloquently and you know how to get it out there in front of people, there's no reason why you should have to depend on anybody yeah. to get your shit out there. Anybody. Hopefully this will kind of uh, push, you know, developers to just like get away from the whole big name publishers to begin with, you know? And I wanna put to, my games on there. put things out there on their own. I had an idea for a game. Check it out. This is a stroke of fucking genius. It is, it is. Just better not be fantasy sex. Oh, no, no, that's that's in the works already. Um, okay, check it out. <laughs> what are, you know, three, I'm not gonna ask you what are three popular games because you won't guess them, but three popular games are Angry Birds, mm -hmm. Madden, mm -hmm. and Call of Duty. Yeah. It's called Madden Cod and you, you have a bunch of fish and you try and get them angry. Yeah, you put that joke on your Twitter 20 minutes ago. Shut <laughs> up, Tara! <laughs> it wasn't funny then either. It was Can funny.